Hello students. In this module, we are going to study the large scale manufacture of sulfuric acid using contact process. As we can see on the screen is the setup for the plant of manufacturing of sulfuric acid which is used in the industries. Let's study each and every part of the plant in detail. First on the left hand side we have the blower where air is pumped inside the plant. We also have the iron pyrite or sulfur burners where sulfur or iron pyrites undergo oxidation in the presence of air to form sulfur dioxide. Next the entire setup as we are going to see is for cleaning the sulfur dioxide so formed. Sulfur dioxide is first put into dusting tower where all the dust particles are settled down. Further it is sent through cooling pipes where sulfur dioxide is cooled. After which it is taken to the scrubbing tower for further removal of dust particles and then to drying tower to remove any amount of moisture which is present. And finally to the arsenic purifier where arsenic oxide impurities are removed. Now whether all the impurities are removed or not can be tested using the small testing box. Clean and dry sulfur dioxide which is formed it's next sent to the contact tower. Now this student is the most important process of the entire plant where sulfur dioxide is getting converted to sulfur trioxide. After the sulfur trioxide conversion it is taken into the absorption tower where it's absorbed by concentrated sulfuric acid. After absorption by sulfuric acid, it is then finally diluted in the dilution tank for the concentration which is required. This is the entire setup of the plant. Now let us begin with the main process that is the contact process. Now the main reaction which is happening over here is the clean and dry gaseous mixture of sulfur dioxide and oxygen which is then passed through the contact tower. That is SO2 is reacting with O2 to form SO3. Now this reaction is not very feasible and hence we require a catalyst to increase the speed of the reaction. The catalyst which is added is vanadium pentoxide. Again we can also use platinized asbestos as a catalyst but it is not preferred. The reason is because vanadium pentoxide is cheaper and it is less easily poisoned by impurities. So even after all that purification, if some amount of impurities are present, they might poison the platinized asbestos catalyst, which is rare in case of vanadium pentoxide. The promoter which is used over here. Now what is exactly a promoter? Promoter is a substance which is added to a solid catalyst to improve its performance in a chemical reaction. Here the catalyst is increasing the speed of the reaction. The promoter would further increase the speed of the reaction. The promoter which is used here is potassium oxide along with vanadium pentoxide. Now this is the reaction which is happening between sulfur dioxide and oxygen. Let us first study the first step where we are forming sulfur dioxide. It is done in the first part or the first chamber of the entire process which is the blower and sulfur or pyrite burner. Production of sulfur dioxide is done in this chamber by burning sulfur or iron pyrites. Now iron pyrites is FES2. They are burnt in the presence of purified air. Now why do we use purified air? Because heat energy would be wasted in heating the unreactive nitrogen component of the raw air. That is why we purify the air and then use it. Let's see the first reaction which is occurring between sulfur and oxygen if we are using sulfur in this case. So S plus O2 gives us SO2. As we can see this reaction is self balanced or alternatively we can use iron pyrites. So let's see the oxidation of iron pyrites which happens. FeS2 which is iron pyrite reacts with oxygen to form Fe2O3 plus SO2. 
Now, this reaction is not balanced. On the right hand side, we can see oxygen is odd. So, to make it even, we'll multiply Fe2O3 by 2. Now, iron has become 4 on the right hand side, whereas on the left hand side, it is just 1. So, on the left hand side, we'll multiply FeS2 by 4. Sulfur on the left hand side has thus become 8 and on the right hand side, it is 1. So, we'll multiply SO2 on the right hand side by 8. Total oxygen on the right hand side has become 22 now. So, left hand side oxygen will be multiplied by 11. And hence, we have the balanced chemical equation 4Fe-S2 plus 11O2 giving 2Fe2O3 plus 8SO2. And that's how our sulfur dioxide is produced, which is going to get further purified.